All right. That's the fishy. That's the fishy. All right, so this is red snapper. All right. Do you know how we tell if it's fresh? How do we tell it's fresh? We look at the skin. All right, so if you push onto it, the flesh springs right back. That's how you can tell it's nice and fresh. All right. We take a look inside of the gills. All right, if they're nice and red and pink, that's a good sign they're nice and fresh as well. If they start to turn gray or brownish, uh, it's a sign that this fish is starting to turn. Right, buddy? Mm -hmm. All right. If the, skills, if the scales are intact, this is scaled, uh, which is great for us. It makes our life a lot easier. But if the scales are still intact, if you ran your finger backward, back against them, uh, they're going to stay in place. All right, if they start flaking off really easily, uh, you know it's been sitting around for a little while, so you're probably going to want to pass on it. All right. Uh, other stuff we'll take a look at is the eyes. All right. So a nice and clear eye, all right? There's no kind of white film over the top of it, all right? Nice and clear, um, and it's kind of bulging, all right? So there's some arc to it. Uh, as, the, as the fish ages, that eye kind of sinks in, uh, which is something you want to avoid, all right? Uh, so this fish has, been, fish has been cleaned for us, all right? So there's nothing inside of the cavity in here, all right, which makes our life a little bit easier, all right? What we're gonna do to make our, uh, to kind of get this fish ready to go. Um, let's keep it relatively basic and neutral, all right? Uh, it's a really fresh um, uh, Italian parsley. All right, we'll put that inside of the cavity. I'm gonna help stuff it in. Mm -hmm. Push. Mm. All right. Uh, and just some fresh orange. Lemon obviously would be ideal, uh, but we don't have any lemon right now. Um, so we're gonna roll with the orange uh, and go with kind of a citrus fennel theme in the end, uh, which I think is gonna work out just fine for us. I wanna do it. You <laughs> wanna do it? Right. right inside the belly. And push. Push, push. Push, push. All right. Also have some really nice bay leaves. All right. Open inside of there. All right. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to take this skewer and we're going to put it in just behind the head uh, where the thickest part of the fish is. Um, reason is we'll, we'll kind of circle back to that in a little bit. Um, but. Uh, that's going to help us when it comes to the, or tempering the fish to see when it's done. All right, so when we put the salt crust on there, as it bakes, that salt is going to harden up. Uh, by having the skewer in place, when, it, when we're at the 35-minute mark or so, we can remove the skewer out. That's going to leave us a nice little tunnel through the salt into the fish that we can stick our uh, digital thermometer or, bio, or um, biometallic thermometer inside of there. I want to do reading. it. All right. Sound good? All right, so we're going to wrap it up here. We'll tidy up, and then we're going to make right, our salt The next crust. stage is to actually make the salt crust. Uh, kosher salt, don't want to use anything too fancy here because once it's made, um, you can't really reuse it, especially when you're using it with fish. You can do the same technique with potatoes. Uh, you can probably do it you know, two or three times with the same salt before it starts to get all clumpy and weird. Um, so uh, not using anything super expensive. So I think it was three fifty for the, the this box of sugar, or bo box of sugar, uh, box of salt. Uh, so hopefully you know, that will last us a little bit. <clears throat> all right, so into a big stainless steel bowl. All right, three pounds. And we've got two cups of water. All right, we'll add that in as well. And right, Julian, you want to mix that up? Uh-huh. Yeah, mix it up. Mix up with this? Yep. <clears throat> All right. So what this is going to do is create a little bit of a, a kind of a, a paste. All right. Uh, finger. Yep, you can use your fingers. Bit of a kind of a wet paste. All right. all right. So now it's time to bring it all together. All right. So we're going to put a very thin layer of salt onto our uh, or our salt solution onto the bottom of our sheet pan. All right. I smooth some. Smooth some. Good. All right. Let go. You smooth that. All right. I get some more. There you go. There we go. Thank you. All right. So very thin layer. Uh, basically, because you want you know the salt to be completely encased the fish. You're going to go a little bit larger than the size of the fish. Uh, I smoke some. There you go. There we go. I right. get some clouds. All right, and then we're going to take our fish and put it right on top of that bed of salt. All right, now the fun part. I'm going to fully encase this guy. I can come too. Good. I can cover 
I thought there's this. Come with a stick, yeah. So cover the skewer. Obviously you want to let it kind of stick to the top a little bit so you can find it All right, as it starts to bake. Uh, Not sharp anymore. Oh, so Julian got bit by his the little guy's teeth earlier, so the teeth aren't sharp anymore. They're nice and covered up by that salt crust. All right. I will some. Thank you. Oh, I could get some. I could. I put the. I. I could. All right, so we're pretty much coated here. All right, take the gloves off. We'll get another a closer picture. Uh, this is going to go inside of a 400 degree oven for probably 30. Uh, I'm going to hazard to say 35 minutes. I think we're going to take a little bit longer than that. She's pretty thick, um, and then, so we're looking for. We'll, we'll take that thermometer out, uh, or the skewer out, put a thermometer in, looking for about 135 degrees. Uh, we'll go from there. So we're 30 minutes in, we're gonna go ahead and check our snapper. Right. So our skewer here that we left before to help us kind of figure out where the, the thickest part of that fish is, we can go ahead and remove that and replace it with our thermometer. Looking for about 130 degrees. Right. And we're coming in at 138, so I'll take that. All right, we'll take that as a win. All right, uh, now the fun part. So we've got our salt crusted uh, red snapper right out of the oven, good to go. Now we're gonna have a little bit of fun. All right, got a little special juice here that we'll drizzle over the top. Okay, ignite it. All right, pretty cool presentation. Um, no real purpose to this aside from, pre aside from presentation value. All right, um, since the salt crust is so thick, we're looking at about probably a quarter inch to a half an inch thick on here. Um, the, the flame on the top of here, it doesn't really do anything as far as flavor wise to the fish. It's more of just kind of a presentation, shock and off kind of thing. Um, that being said, I like it. All right. Um, <clears throat> flames burn, burn off, um, and we're good to go. Uh, next thing we'll do is we'll grab <clears throat> just a large spoon. All right. We'll tap around the bottom of the, the fish. should be able to do is just lift off our salt. All right. Showing off that fish in the inside. All right. And that's it. So we'll take it out of here. We'll remove it from the salt and I'll show you the next stage when it comes to how we're going to uh, remove it from the bonus. So